Hi, I'm Roxana from VP State, and in this video I will show how to import the Montreal demo. On this domain I have installed the team and the team included plugins. Next I will show the steps that you need to take before the demo import. First I will need to activate my theme. Here I will need to add my license code. I edit it and now I need to click check license. My theme is now activated. Next, I will need to install the SVG support plugin. The theme supports SVG icons for features and amenities and for the demo icons to be imported along with the demo content, the plugin needs to be installed before the demo import. So I will go to plugins. I will click add new. I will look for the SVG support plugin. This is the plugin that you need to install. I will click install now. I will activate the plugin. And now I can proceed with the demo import. I will go to VP Residence options, import demo. Here you will find all team available demos. I will look for the Montreal one. This is the one. I will click import demo. Click continue and import and I will wait for the demo content to be imported. The process might take a few minutes. The demo content was imported. Next, I will show the steps that you need to make after the demo import. First, I will show what you need to check from admin. First, you will need to set permalinks correctly. You will need to go to settings, permalinks, choose post name and save changes. Next, you will need to review team options. Go to VP Residence options, general. Here you will need to replace demo settings with your own. You need to change country and make other settings to fit your business. In general, you can replace the demo logo with your own. You need to upload here your logo. In social and contact, you need to add your contact details. In map, you need to decide on the map system that you want to use. You can keep OpenStreet or select Google Maps, but if Google Maps will be selected, then a Google Maps API key needs to be created and added in team options here. Next, in property page, you need to make settings for your properties. In property card design, you need to make settings for the cards that will show in the list. In design, you can change colors and fonts. In email management, you can make settings for the emails that will be sent from your site. In membership, you can set the submission type. You can set this option to no and the submission will be free or you can set per listing or membership. In this section, you can also set the team payments. You can set PayPal and Stripe from the team or you can enable WooCommerce and set any payment add-on from the WooCommerce plugin. Next, you'll have the search section. Here you can make settings for the advanced search. You can select the search type and make other settings. This is just a quick overview of the sections available. You will need to take each section and set it to fit your business. Now I will go on front end. The Montreal homepage was imported. After the import, you will have some sections that will require manual adjustments for them to show as in our official demo. This is one of the sections and this one. For these sections, we use property categories and on import, the categories will have different IDs. This is why you will need to manually assign the categories for this section and manually upload an image for each category assigned. First, I will show how these two sections were created. Since the page was created with Elementor, I will click Edit with Elementor. I will scroll down to the first section. We used VP Resident Display Categories widget, and here you will need to select the category that will show on front end. I will select a random category just to show how this works. From demo, this widget is set to display three items per row, so you need to select here three categories. Going further to the next section, here the VP Resident Display Category widget, I will select a category for this one. And next we have the VP Residence Grids widget that was set to display area. Next you will need to upload an image for each category used in these two sections, that can be done from admin, so I will go back to admin. You can find the property categories under properties. They are categories type 
city neighborhood county state features and amenities and property status i will open neighborhood or areas and to upload an image you will need to edit the category press the upload image button you can select an image from media or upload one from your device i will select an image from my device i will select the image press insert into post and update going back to home page i will refresh the page and now you can see the image that i just uploaded i added all the images now the section show correctly next you will need to save the second part of the menu the header type 6 that we use in this demo will display menu elements before the logo and after for the elements in the after logo section to show you will need to go to admin go to appearance menus here you'll have the main menu that was set as primary menu and mobile menu and you will need to save the contact menu as header 6 second menu i will save the changes and now on refresh you will see the first menu and the second one after the logo these are the steps that you need to take after the demo import next i will show certain quick guidelines on how to edit the home page elements i will go back to the elementor editor here i have navigator enabled i will select the hero section which is the first one here we set as background a video you can manage it from style here you can change the video link and add your own and also here you can change the cover image that we added for the video we also added text with the heading widget from elementor you can edit it from here the same can be done for the second text and here we added three buttons using the button widget from elementor you can change the link of the buttons and make other settings that you want i will move a bit the navigator here we created a section with social icons for that we used social icons widget from elementor you can change the link and add here your facebook link twitter and youtube next you will have the search section this is the one we created the search with the search form builder for elementor we did not enable tabs for this search and you can manage the search fields from this section here you can replace demo fields with your own going further to the next section here we created a section with text and buttons and with the vp resident display categories widget that i described earlier you can change the text and the icon from the icon box widget for elementor also you can edit the text and the buttons going further we created a section to display the latest properties in the site for that we use the vp residence items list you can change the number of properties that will be seen in front end and also you can filter the properties by category going further to the next section here we created video section we added this image as background for the section you can manage that image from style here you can delete the demo image and replace it with your own over the image we added text and the vp residence video player widget you can change the icon and the video that will play when the button will be pressed next we created the achievement section here we added the counter widget from elementor to display this section over the previous one in the inner section in advance we added this negative margin to move this section you need to change this value going further to the next section here we created a section for categories i have already explained how this section was built next you will have properties here we made a section with the vp residence featured property widget for this widget you will need to add the property id for each element added in the page so we added the featured property widget six times and in each widget we added a different property id so we can display the properties that we wanted you can take this id from admin i will show i will go back to admin and under properties 
Here you'll have the list of the properties in your site. You will find the ID column and this ID needs to be added in the VP Residence featured property widget. Next, we created a testimonial section using the VP Residence testimonial widget. You can change client name, title and image. You need to do this for each element added in this section. Next, you will have the blog post section. Here we displayed blog posts using the VP Residence item slider, we set it to display article. And for the last section in the page, we created a contact section. Here we added an image as background. You can manage the image from style. You can delete it and replace it with your own. The contact form was created with the contact form builder. You can change the fields, delete them and add your own. And also here we added text with the heading widget from Elementor. Here we added the address using text editor. And here we used social icons widget. And you will be able to add your Facebook, Twitter and YouTube links. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching. And do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.